Out of the Trump transition and live pictures now from our sister station in New York, WCBS. You can see those flashing lights, part of the Trump motorcade on the move tonight. We're told the president-elect is heading to his golf resort in New Jersey for the weekend after a busy and headline-making day today. The president-elect announcing three appointments, all with at least some controversy attached. One is to his cabinet, the others to his administration. CBS 4's Kenneth Craig is in Bedminster, New Jersey, where Mr. Trump will spend the weekend. Kenneth. Well, Rick, it has become very clear that the president-elect is not interested in carrying out this process in public. As you said just a moment ago, the president-elect is on his way right now from Trump Tower here to this elite private golf club right beyond the tree line behind me, closed off to the public and surrounded by a lot of Secret Service. Vice President-elect Mike Pence says he's thrilled with the team President-elect Donald Trump is building. We've got a, a great number of men and women, of great qualifications, come forward to serve this new administration. Friday, the president-elect announced Alabama Senator Jeff Sessions as his first pick to be attorney general. Mr. Trump also tapped retired General Michael Flynn as his national security advisor and Congressman Mike Pompeo of Kansas to be the CIA director. Mr. Trump is, I think, doing a terrific job of looking for the best talent he can find for his cabinet. After spending most of the week at Trump Tower, the president-elect is spending the weekend here at the Trump National Golf Club in New Jersey, where he'll continue his high-level meetings. Mr. Trump's first choices aren't without some controversy. General Flynn once referred to Islam as a cancer, and he tweeted in February that fear of Muslims is rational. And in 1986, the Senate blocked Senator Sessions from becoming a federal judge after he allegedly made racist remarks, a claim he denies. A confirmation could be easier this time with Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell announcing he strongly supports Sessions to be the next attorney general. And talking to some of the folks who live around here and work in town, they told me they are used to seeing Mr. Trump fly in on his helicopter and come to the golf course for the weekend. It seems as though the president-elect, though, is taking a more traditional route, traveling here by motorcade. American Rudabay. Thank you very much. Well